Thank you. Welcome back to part two. We soaked our seeds with our seed dresser. And now they are well soaked. They are well soaked now. So we can comfortably, you can just hold them with your hands. No problem. Though I had something you had one before. But you can still touch with your hands. It's no problem. So we're going to plant them. You can try as much as possible to space them. You can also mix with some sand so that the seeds are spaced. So we are going to have them here. You can space them well. Just gently through the furrow that we have. You can still broadcast. But I want them spaced well. So that's how I'm doing it. The more they are spaced, the stronger they become as they uh, germinate. You expect this to be up in the next five to seven days so approximately one week in one week's time we should have them sprouting so we'll be here to check so we hope you and pray will be with us as we check how they have germinated so gently gently in every furrow you can see them you can see bless them you can try as much as possible to space them. You can also plant half half from one side, like this, like I'm showing here. You can plant half half the furrow on this side, then you can complete it on the other side. So I can do that here. So halfway, that way, halfway, so that I don't have to step inside. Remember when you step the soil, you start uh, producing hard pans which are not good not only are hard pans not good here they are also not very good in the real field so you can work it halfway it's no problem remember you can see we have spaced them so that later we can also thin thinning is reducing if there are many so that they grow strong So oh, there we are, well, well blessed. Well blessed. Good, our uh, sachet is already done here. Yeah. That sachet is uh, Sashe is enough for here. So if you have a bigger container, you can have a bigger nursery bed. So this one is perfect for the packet that we've had. So, so far we are done with that one. Then the next thing now, what do we do? We need to just cover with light soil. Some even you can leave because when you are watering, they can still, the seeds can also cover themselves when you water on top so we need a shade now we need a shade because these seeds are young if you expose them to direct sun like outside here they may burn or rather they may scorch because of the excess heat from the sun so we have to put a cover on top here so we are just using the locally available material that we have around so bless I have this one here, so this is shorter. This one can reach there, like so. And this one, you should just make a shade before you water, so that you don't spatter them. Have this right there, good, perfect. You can have this there. This one can be here. Then you can fill the rest. Right? 
another one here. Just need to be creative. Much as you can. I need a bigger one for the middle. Or for the center. So that the rest can be halfway. You can also tie with strings. The winds around you are strong. We are lucky here. The winds is not very strong. Good. There we go. Anything on the farm, there's a lot of stuff that you can put there. Not sure it is strong. So make sure the materials that are up here are light so that we don't carry overweight and make our make our shade come down so ensure that the lighter the material the better better for us better for you better for our citrus for our nasal so we have that perfection you can put your Stuff. Good thing about the farm is everything is available. You can always get what you want. These are just simple materials locally available. 